Plus, he stole millions of dollars from his charter schools. Now he is sharing his side of the story. Local reporting you can trust. You're watching KRQE News 13 at 10. Good evening. He embezzled millions of dollars from the Albuquerque charter school that he founded, and he was sentenced to five years in federal prison. But right before Scott Glassroot is supposed to turn himself in, he's started a blogging website detailing his upcoming journey behind bars. News 13's Marissa Lucero has the details. Marissa? Dean Jess Glassroot tells us today he takes full responsibility for his crime and hopes his blog will prevent others from making the same mistake. Less than a month before he'll be locked up in federal prison for five years, some of the last words Scott Glassroot publicly wrote admit that he unfortunately made a big mistake. Last year, Glassroot, the founder of Southwest Learning Centers, pled guilty to stealing millions of dollars from the four Albuquerque charter schools. He has accepted legal responsibility and he's prepared to accept his punishment. Before he's locked up, Glassroot started a website. In an email, he tells us the blog isn't intended to defend his innocence. It's a place to explain what he says happened and what led to the bad decisions he made. On the site, Glassroot does, however, say he was ensnared in the criminal justice system, but doesn't go into details. He also mentions then state auditor Hector Balderas, who was an up and comer in 2014 running for attorney general. Balderas also spoke to News 13 at the time after his office released its findings on Glassroot. Anytime you allow uh, power and authority to be centrally uh, controlled by only one individual, it's very easy for that one individual to abuse. Uh, or not make decisions in the truly the best interests of these public institutions. Glassroot tells us he is paying the price financially and with his freedom. He says the website will also serve as a warning about what life is really like on the inside. And Glassroot's family and friends will update his website while he serves out his five-year sentence. You can find that link on krqe.com. Back to you, Jess. All right, thank you, Marissa. Glassroot is scheduled to turn himself in December 5th. He's also responsible for paying back $3 million in restitution.